Hello everybody, my name is John, aka Tuba Games. Yeah, I went through kind of a, a name change there, because for several reasons, Blow Harder Than Tuba really isn't the best name, and I've been looking for something to kind of replace it with, and I figured, well, somebody else actually gave me the idea, somebody on Reddit, uh, shout out to that channel. I think they're the D-pad, but I don't know, I'm not gonna, not gonna be too specific. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do a crystal run here and hope that that turns out well. Anyway, yeah, the reasons Blow Harder Than Tuba wasn't a good name. Number one, um, people think it has to do with oral sex. And that's wrong. It actually doesn't. It has to do with cocaine. I know, right? That's so much better. <laughs> but, um, Blow Harder Than Tuba comes from a rap song. The song is Suicide by Pusha T. Number one, the title of that song doesn't exactly give a good impression. Not, I don't condone suicide either. Just as much as I do not condone cocaine. Uh, yeah. And number two on the reasons why Blow Harder Than Tuba wasn't exactly a good name. It's hard to remember, and it's long, and if you're going to be telling your friends about this channel, what are you going to say? Like, oh, you should totally go check out this channel. It's called Blow Harder Than Tuba. I mean, that would be pretty bad. So what you just saw me do there was um, the Crystal Shield. That is Crystal's special ability, and she can block bullets, basically. Now, Throne Butt is really good for Crystal, because when you get Throne Butt as Crystal, you can teleport around the map, and it's crazy. Uh, you can basically avoid any hit. And I think I'm gonna get sucked in here. Yes, that's right. But I got a laser pistol, so that's good. Let's see, we have more speed, stronger attack power, slower enemy bullets, full health and some ammo. We're doing pretty good so far. No damage on the first floor. Let's do... Let's do Euphoria. So yeah, I know Tuba Games is a little more uh, informal. A little less casual. Damn it. Um, and it... It sounds kind of like it's a, uh, like a multi-person channel, and that wouldn't be the worst idea, really, but I, I've always liked to put an emphasis on the, on the games in the channel, and oh my god, stop it. <laughs> it's really hard to do this with the laser pistol. I'm trying to get around these maggots and everything on the map, and hit that scorpion. Scorpions are seriously the worst thing in the world. Oh! Okay, I'm thinking if I just kind of keep around these corners here and use my crystal shield a lot more than I currently am using it, I should do alright. I'm running out of ammo for my laser pistol, so I'm trying to conserve that. Uh, that's a weapon that's actually pretty good on bosses and stronger enemies, so it, if I use my pistol or revolver for the weaker enemies and then save my laser pistol for the stronger ones, that might turn out well. So, Tuba Games. I might still refer to myself as Blow Harder Than Tuba occasionally because that is still my channel URL and I still like it. I like the name, it kind of rolls off the tongue for me, personally, but for somebody who's unfamiliar, it's not the best name. Now, I considered, well maybe I could do a backronym. Like, like, uh, I think, um, I'm trying to remember who else has done that. Jesse Cox, if you're familiar with his channel. OMFG Kata. Uh, his name was for like, um, was for some group that they had at the time called OMFG. And that group is now defunct or not making videos anymore, or whatever the heck they did. Maybe it was like a clan for WoW, I don't know. So he changed it to something else. And I don't know what it is. Oh no, it was one moderately. Uh, funny gamer, and I don't remember what the other four were. Other four letters, disc gun. That's amazing. If you're familiar with Vlambeer's games like Super Crate Box, you'll be familiar with the disc gun. The disc gun is a gun that does a deadly amount of damage, but it ricochets back and it can also hurt you. That would have also been nice on that boss there, but we didn't get it then. So uh, I figured maybe I can show you. That one was kind of weird, that kind of got stuck there. Okay, let's try to do it on this these people in here. It just ricochets around the room, and I'm not particularly good with it. 
But see how fast it killed that scorpion? Alright. We leveled up again on this floor. That was nice. Uh, energy weapons deal more damage. That would be really good because we have that laser pistol. No damage from explosions. Some kills regenerate HP. Yeah, I think I know which one we're doing. I really need to remember to use my uh, crystal shield more. That would be nice. And I, I just used the disc gun there when I did mean to use my laser pistol, so I'm sorry about that. Oof. This floor always scares me just because of how close quarters everything is. I feel like I'm gonna mess up all the- oh, like that. Again, crystal shield. Really necessary and I should be using it and that's what crystal's all about basically, avoiding damage. And I'm so criminally bad at avoiding damage I shouldn't even be allowed to play this character. Although, I am doing better than I would with like, uh, fish or, or chicken. Even though chicken's like probably my favorite character just because melee in this game is so damn fun. Crystal. I haven't really played Crystal. Speaking of Crystal, um, Pokemon. That was kind of a, a far-fetched tangent I know there. And yes, I just died. I'm not going to talk about that. We're going to play Crystal again. Um, where is she? Here she is. Um, anyway, Pokemon. Another thing uh, that I'm going to do in the future when it comes to this channel. My friend, uh... His, his channel right now is Slow Tomp. Yeah, don't ask me what that is. He He's probably going to have to think of a backronym for that one because, I mean, who's going to know what that is? Anyway, he and I are going to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke later. And when I say he and I, I mean we're either going to make it split screen or we're going to have it shift between our perspectives when necessary. We're basically going to be playing the game at the same time in a Skype call. And it'll be very entertaining, because Pokemon is some of our favorite games. I know it's mine, and I know it's his too. We're going to play Pokemon Diamond, I think? And a Nuzlocke challenge is something that neither of us have ever done, so it'll be new and exciting, and there will be a lot of challenges. It should be relatively well produced too. Um, I think we'll be able to edit that correctly, or edit it well, I should say. There is no right or wrong way to edit your videos. Sometimes the best way to edit your videos is to not edit your videos. That's what some people find. Speaking of edited videos, on once again another tangent, I uploaded um, a video on Elevator Source today. You should go check that one out. It has uh, my friends Julian and Brett in it. Their channels are... Um, Button Masher, the, the actual channel name is Cortel1, and um, there's another Tuba Games like thing right there, and Brett Bro 96 That one is more straightforward, I think. Tuba Games. That is going to take some getting used to, but I, I, I do enjoy it. And I never mentioned the fact that I picked up the Sledgehammer here. Again, one of my favorite weapons in the game. So this is going to be difficult, but basically whenever something shoots at me, I'm just going to try to crystal shield. And if I had gotten just a little more, a little more XP on that floor, I could have leveled up another time. But no, so that sucks. Uh, sharp teeth. Damage taken is dealt to all enemies on screen. That's a creepy looking mutation. Full health and some ammo. Uh, enemies touching you take damage. Well... I think the best one here would... <sighs> Yeah, it'll probably be this one. I normally don't take those perks, but since there's nothing that's really better in that, I was considering taking Last Wish just because we were missing a little HP, but I figured... Oh, shit. I forgot about the boss, but I figured if we take any damage, then we should be able to mow through some things later. The machine gun I'm not really good with, and again, crystal shield I'm not really good with. I should have used that there. After this run, we'll end it. Aha! Take that, game. You think I forgot about your crystal shield? Ha. Elevator source. Yeah, I spent a long time editing that video. Uh, even though I don't think it's the like pinnacle of game montages on YouTube. I think it's pretty good and I edited it down from about 48 minutes. So I killed a lot of a lot of time there. 
Ah, uh, there's not really anything in these chests that's that beneficial to me. But here we go, we leveled up again on this floor. We can get long arms from melee range. I would really, really love that because we're using the sledgehammer. That's perfect. So we're once again in the sewers. Scariest part of the- no, no, this is definitely not the scariest part of the game, actually. Scariest part of that game is that one floor that I barely got to in the last video, the one with the flying people and the, the snipers. Yeah, that's the scariest part, at least so far, because I haven't gotten that far. And I did not know that they explode upon death. That's something I should probably remember from this point on. Yay, double shotgun. That's amazing. Perfect. Uh, that should help us out a lot on this floor, actually. Now, I'm not really sure... Apparently it just shoots all over, because <laughs> double shotgun, I don't know if that's just supposed to be a double barreled shotgun or two shotguns taped together. That was a really lame joke, but it does look kind of like that, if you look at it from- Oh shit! I did not reach the nuclear throne. Alright everybody, I hope you have a good day. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, and uh... Subscribe to Tuba Games if you would like to see more of this kind of content, Rogue Legacy, Dark Souls, anything. Speaking of that, I think I'm actually going to record some Dark Souls next, so I will see you next time.